Uh, in round 21 of the tournament, we will be bringing you Vanitha from Malaysia and Prince from Nigeria. Each of these players at 13 and 7, making their shot at a, a run. So uh, just a little bit of the updated standings. Will Anderson, after we left for lunch break, lost to Joshua, Joshua Castellano. So Wellington Jagiri of Nigeria in sole possession of first place at 17 and 3. Will Anderson and Thatcha both right behind him at 16 and 4. We're very excited to watch things play out and repeat pairings are beginning this match, which is going to make things very spicy uh, later on in the tournament. For the afternoon, I am graciously joined by James Curley. James, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Matt. I'm looking forward to this. Um seen Vanitha on stream before and my first time watching Prince. So yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. Um, Vanitha with uh, one of the coolest games we've had all stream uh, in the previous time she was streamed as she played a dance and do of uh, Romania and had just an absolute swindle, a game where she was lost. She dropped a phony five under time pressure, snuck it by, and managed to hold on for a win. Uh, not often you take a 0% win situation and are able to sneak one out with some crafty play. So excited to watch her on stream. And Prince, another strong Nigerian in a contingent with so many strong players. He's also vaulted up the standings at 13 and 7. A win for either of these players would put them in position to cash uh, if the tournament ended today. A loss may end a run of hot play we've seen from both of them. So exciting matchup here, Malaysia versus Nigeria, and we are very thrilled to bring it to y'all here. Uh, we've got some really cool matchups coming up as well. Round 22, Dacha and Wellington will play their first repeat matchup, and we are so excited to bring that one to you after this game. Uh, Dacha with an excellent game, stealing one from David Eldar in our last game before lunch, and Wellington nothing but solid play all tournament, as of course you'd expect from someone who's already won a world championship. Prince to play first in this game. He is drawing his tiles, and we are just about underway with uh, more Scrabble action. Here we go. Prince to draw, A-D-E-E-I-R-U. Uh, not exactly what he was hoping out of this rack. Uh, James, you think you say adieu to five or to four vowels here with A-D-I-E-U for 14? Or would you look to play smaller, something like E-A-U with the great D-E-I-R leave? No, I think you have to play adieu. Um, I guess maybe something's happened. His Prince has been told to do something or something, he got distracted for a second, but um, yeah, adieu looks correct to me, um, leaving ER. Yeah, I'm not really seeing what else you would do. I guess the only other thing is go short with something like AUE, maybe. Uh, EAU or AUE could be options if you'd opt for the short play here, uh, but adieu looks very good. Ooh, Prince doing something neat as well. He's going to exchange two tiles, holding on to the exceptionally yeah. bingo prone. A-D-E-I-R, and it appears he's picking two more vowels, not what he was hoping for out of that exchange. Woof. Tough break for the Nigerian. And we'll pass over to Vanita now, E-M-O-T-X-Y-Y -Y on her rack. And uh, James, what do you expect to see here? Well, if I'd imagine you'll clearly want to get rid of one of the Ys, and I guess the longest word I see off the bat is mixo, M-Y-X-O. Um, so that, well, which is lined up. So I haven't really gone beyond that word, to be honest. So I guess there, there is a five moti, M-O-T-E-Y, leaving Y-X, but I think I prefer Mixo. Yeah, Moti could potentially set up that X for a big play next turn. If a uh, prince chooses to play underneath Moti, perhaps a Tix or Tax play comes down for Vanita, Tex as well. Um, so that's a cool thought for sure, but Mixo looks to be the standard play here. Got to yeah. shed some of those tiles and get into bingo range. Yeah, I prefer it. Um, oh, she's playing Moti. She I is like playing it. Moti. Yeah. I like it. Uh, perhaps after an exchange five, stringing the E, or exchange two rather, uh, an exchange two, stringing the E or the T, a little risky, but Prince with his terrible draw 
is uh, not going to be able to punish this. Just kidding. He has a radiant <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, I'm going too fast. Guys, I've been doing this. This is about game 80 for me or something. But irradiate, so gets the tile he needs. Big decision. And uh, Vanita will also not get the X overlap she was hoping for. So big sequence at the beginning. Prince exchanging two, drawing poorly, but getting the floater he needed. And he now leads 63 to 28. Uh, Vanita, E-G-O-R-X-U-Y on her rack now. She will That's be a great job by... Uh... A great job by Prince. He, he did see that immediately. That was that was a really great spot and didn't waste time. Yeah, yeah. And one of those racks, too, you, you see it, and as soon as you see it, you're like, I'm, I'm hoping for a T. I'm hoping for a T. And uh, as soon as it hits the, the board, you got to not give a tell to your opponent and just wait for it to come on down. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit of a test for, I mean, and, and I remember from the previous game, she was uh, quite deliberate and, and very thoughtful about all her plays. I think this is a, a case where you have to think about your kind of longer X plays and you know, go beyond the three and four letter X and look for five and six letter X plays. We'll uh, also test her knowledge of hooks. What does irradiate take in front? Does it take an R, a D, or nothing? As she sits on this R, she'll need to decide if uh, irradiate is indeed valid. I know it takes an R. Does it, does it take a D? No, it does take the front R. So re-radiate and Oxer playing atop the board for 43 points, but maybe not her best play. Oxy, O-X-E-Y-E, -E, plays to the E and irradiate for 40 points, holds that R for next turn. Exergy from the X, also a great option. So James, spot on. Look for these longer X plays. Don't just plunk it here. Yeah, I, the problem with Oxy and, well, all the plays she's probably considering is that they all gonna, are all going to keep a U. But you can't turn down those points. You have to have to score those points. So it, it might be one of these cases where you know any of those forty plus point X plays. You know if you see them, I, I kind of like Oxi leaving G U R. I, I don't really like the Y with the U. Yeah, yeah, Y U. Some pretty strong anti synergy there. Uh, running a simulation on this because this is a tough turn. Quackle preferring Ox I to the E. I, the ability to hold on to that X means she's likely to score more points atop next turn. Uh, but that's tough. And if your opponent has the R, as Prince does, uh, all of a sudden you'd like to pounce on that spot before your opponent is able to. Big decision here for Vinita and a tough one as well. I always, I always enjoy looking at players and, and how they go about this. You know, we have the shufflers, the people who are permutating every letter on their rack. And then there are other people who just like me actually who just kind of keep the letters static uh Zanifa, i guess she's just picked two tiles up so maybe she's looking she is looking in that spot i'm just gonna play yex yex all right keeping things tight uh e-g-o-r-u with the right pole uh could certainly bingo next turn so uh she's got lots of opportunities for bingos after this play uh quackle has her roughly 32 percent to bingo next turn and holding on to that r if she pulls a seven, it's likely to play up top. She's not certain on this play, though. Has not hit her clock, uh, being, again, methodical, as we saw her before, really taking the time, analyzing the new spots that she set up. But now, pulling the trigger, Yex coming down. And that's when I didn't even simulate, because it looked rather inferior. But it jumps near the top of the simulation, the second best play, according to Quackle, after Oxi. So uh, a suit play there. Yeah, nice play. Um... Well, I don't really see anything great with the R of uh, hooking the top row. I, in fact, can't really see anything that's worth playing up there. <laughs> the the only real option, Riz, which uh, doesn't hit the triple word, just R-I-Z and re-radiate, would be 32 points holding D-I-S-S. -S. Uh, but perhaps we don't see Prince play in that spot either. Izard plays rather nicely, 34 points through the A and irradiate, or just the plunk of S-A-Z above the play of Yex, making Soy, Saz, and Zex would be 39 points. So a tough mm. turn for Prince after a tough turn for Benita. And I'm not sure what he'll do here. Mm, yeah, I, I mean, uncoupling your S for points does sound great, but at the expense of keeping I-I, um, you know, the I-I leave can really bite you. Uh, I, I like Izard, I think. Or I... I don't really like putting the S on the end and telegraphing I have an S, but um, I think I like Izzard. 
Uh, crucially, Moti does take a back S. I believe in NWL it does not. Uh, Moti meaning full of moats, which is awful. Uh, but in, in CSW, it does take an S. So those S's are reasonably powerful on this board with that spot available. We'll see Prince hold on to both of those as RIZ comes down as his play. Uh, 32 points holding both S's, though now he taking his time, being methodical, not yet hitting his clock. But there it goes. R-I-Z pulls Prince ahead 95 to 63. And Vanita, A-E-G-L-O-R-U, her rack. She will not be able to bingo, but the play of Riz has given her something rather nice. Well, uh, are you, I'm starting to think, well, sorry, I didn't realize this. Oh, actually, a grise? Yep, that's it. A grise is 48. I was about to say, I, I would be starting to look for, for words containing Riz across the top. And then as soon as you said there's something nice, I figured, yeah, a grise, okay. Yeah, a grise there for 48, easily the best opportunity. She also has a double-double available, Roulade, R-O-U-L-A-D-E, 32 points holding the G. Nice fishing plays, G-A-U, in front of Riz, making Grizz, A-E, and U-R for 34. Or if she'd like to get this board wide open, two good ways for her to do that, Riza and Erugo for 27 points holding the L, or down from the EX, Exergual, E-X-E-R-G-U-A-L. So lots of options on this board. A Grise looks to be clearly the best one, but if that doesn't come down, we may have some really neat positions and possible non-bingo triple-triple opportunities on this board. This could be fun, folks. It would have taken me a long time to, to work down to the EX to find a play going down from the EX, but uh, I'm not sure I would have found X and Yule. Yeah, I, I wonder if you're thinking about the RIZ. I mean, it's such a kind of, it's just floating there and it feels like it's, you know, something to pay attention to. She, she may well be, I mean, I think the double double is something that she, she, she may well find. Um, lots of options here. I mean, she's also got the E to go by behind OY. Uh, if she's able to pull a D for re-radiated, that could be a consideration next turn as well. Lots to think about. Despite only a few words on the board, there are lots of opportunities to score here. Yeah. Uh, on Prince's rack, you see he has set up, looks like die phases. Die phase is a valid seven letter word, but it does not take any hooks. There is a valid eight in A D E I H S S with the P. Uh, so there is a valid eight through that E, but it is not die phases. Uh, chat has already had some fun with this one. Uh, that would be piss head. P-I-S-S-H-E-A-D. Unless that was expurgated, I can't imagine it was. I think we all know what the definition of that one is. <laughs> yes, we, we don't need a Stefan reading up definitions for this one. No. Uh, so Prince's Rack will bingo with an E, M, N, or O available, but none of those on the table right now for him. Well, um, I think Vanitha is really, uh, really thinking about this... Uh this turn i don't haven't really seen from anything she set up what something super obvious she's going to play but um she's not really a shuffler so she doesn't give too much away even to us commentators Tough decision here, and Vanita, I think, wisely uh, taking her time. You know there must be a lot of options for you on this board. I'd be thinking pretty hard here, but if I spot a Grise, I think I'm likely to throw it down very quickly. Yeah, and I guess that the, I, I can't remember if you, if you mentioned it, Matt, but I think if you're looking just really for the kind of bingo-prone leave, you, you might get to G-A-U down the side of Riz, making Grizz A-E-U-R. Um, that that would be something that I think is you, you, you may well also consider. Yeah, there's just so much to consider in this position. G-A-U, uh, sneaky, tough to spot, but a nice play as well. Although uh, a Grise would still be an option after that play. She doesn't seem too worried about the time. I think uh, she's she's happy to take this, you know, early part of the game and, and be, 
be make sure that she tries to find the best play. Setting up G-A-R-E now on her rack. I'm wondering perhaps where she's looking to play these tiles. Yeah. Um, I wonder if Prince is going to try die phases. It seems strange that he would have set it up and, you know, yeah. then not play it. And uh, yeah, he's he's left his tiles in exactly that order for a long time. Uh, Got to decide definitely. Do I want to pull the trigger on this one? That's one that's hard to challenge, but in five point, you can expect your opponent likely to throw points at it. All right. So what's the play here? Looks to be Alar. A L A R. Going to score a lot of points for her and knock out some dangerous opportunities for overlaps. But this leaf of G E O U is brutal. So she'll need a good draw to get out of this one. Uh, missing a Grai is a big deal here, but some of the other options a little bit closer together for her. Still yeah. leaves the RIZ in play, and here it comes, die phases. Okay. Um, I don't recall from the previous game whether she was uh, somebody who made many challenges, so we, we shall see. Uh, I know she, she correctly challenged uh, Ments, M-E-N-T-S, at the end of the game. And uh, we'll see if Prince reaches for the tile bag. It appears I he is on hold. Matt, I think she's challenging. Yes, she is. A great challenge from Vanitha. She will knock Prince's play off the board. And uh, Vanitha, uh, now down 89 to 95, will pick up a free turn after the phony from the Nigerian. Well, that's certainly one way to uh, get through the... Uh the ALAR and post post draw from that move is, is get an extra turn. Yeah. Big swing of events. A very nice challenge from Vanita as well. And she looks to take the lead on this turn. I forgot to give my typical warning, but at the beginning of each session, I like to warn, as I see chat goes on about this, I do call out the candidate plays very quickly. I am trying to put a focus more on what players are thinking about as opposed to spotting the plays. If you are watching this live, I recommend you put it on mute if you want to solve these puzzles yourself. And maybe you can come back and capture the analysis after the fact. If you're watching these videos after the stream, I recommend you pause the plays to give you some time to think about them. Or again, put it on mute if you want to, I suppose. But uh, uh, not really doing puzzle solving mode with the stream. That is not the objective here. And if you'd like it to be your objective, there are certainly opportunities for you to fix that. If you prefer peace and quiet, uh, sorry, you're not going to find that here. I'm from the southern U.S., and we tend to ramble, so uh, that's not happening either. But those are some suggestions to help you uh, improve your viewing experience. E-G-O-O-S-U-W, the rack for Benita. So despite the challenge, she's left in a poor situation here. Uh, not many good options as that E-G-O-U leave backfired pretty hard. The W, not what you want to pull into that, nor do you want to double up the U's. Uh, O-W-E and Z-O, perhaps? The U seems to be a, a magnet for the W, doesn't it? All tournament, I feel like we've seen U-W. They always come out together, it feels. It happens all the time. I, I, the, the one play that I see is Wodge through the D, W-O-D-G-E doesn't address the U situation, but um, it certainly gets rid of the W and the duplicated O. Um, so I think I like, I'm also looking at that ALAR, uh, that there's, there's front hook, I, apologies for not knowing any NWL, Matt, but I know in Collins that there are two front hooks to ALAR. Yeah, and then, yeah. Obviously nobody has that right now, but that's just, you know, filing that away for reference. Um, I, I like Wodge. Um, I haven't really seen something else that I like. I'd, I think if I had seen that, I might just play it. Yeah, Wodge is uh, certainly a good option here. If she's looking to get rid of additional vowels, perhaps O-R-G-U-E an option as well. Uh, maybe could keep things smaller if she feels a synergy between the G-U-E suffix for words is something she'd like to keep intact. She could also just drop W-O to the right side of re-radiate. But the thing that makes this turn extra complicated is you know exactly 
what your opponent has on his rack. So you've got to yeah. consider what does he have? Are there any threats I need to block that stand out as great options uh, compared to some of the other plays? What do I need? Am I setting him up for anything as well? Well, I think he's lined it up, hasn't he? Aphids down to Moti to make Motis. Um, and, and Vinitha presumably knows that he could play that for a bunch of points. So maybe she has to play in that kind of top right quadrant just to, just to block. Yeah, Aphid also playing with Riza, R I Z A, with or without the D on the back. Uh, Aphid with the S, or sorry, with the with without the S on the back. Aphids and Moti scores thirty nine. Aphids and Riza scores thirty seven. Uh, neither of those you uh, plays you want to give to your opponent. So she's probably looking to knock out that spot uh, in any way she can without giving anything back, and that is tough to do. Yeah, and she's used almost uh, 14 minutes of the time on very few moves. Um, so this would be about the time where I would start getting nervous. <laughs> uh, Chad pointing out some players perhaps more familiar with Vanita that she can certainly play fast if she needs to. Although okay. she's going to opt to exchange here and holding the G, definitely something we don't see very often. I know the G uh, despised by many players uh, in Scrabble, but she's going to hold on to it here, exchanging O O U W, and that is going to give back a fit. Prince also stringing the S at the end. Now you don't have to be concerned about the inference because you've already shown her both of the S's on your rack. So a fit's coming down 37 points for Prince, and he will pull ahead after the exchange from Vanita. A E G K S U V, the, the pull now for Vanita. And she's looking to score some points here. Yeah, I, I see Uke down the side of Aphids. U-K-E. Yeah, that looks quite solid. Um, that's not really a bingo draw that she that she got from the bag there. Um, I, th I think pr probably on the previous turn, playing something and scoring points was 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 better than exchanging. But anyway, we're in this position now, and. Uh, Uke scores a lot of points. Uke scores 34. AGSV would be the leave. Vug also playing above Alar, VUG, and GAM scoring 21, but holding way more balanced AEKS. Uh, Kiev, another way to score points. KIEV through mm. the INA FIDS. AGSU, the leave there, uh, perhaps a little risky. Uh, but this board could get pretty tight pretty quickly if uh, we're not careful here. And we know we know that Prince has an S. Well, we we know, but Vanifa Vin also knows that he has some S's. Um, she does. Oh, she she has an S too. Actually, I didn't see that hanging there on the end. Um, so she does have. If she draws well, she 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 will have possibility of using her uh, her S. Um, Kiev is becoming a little bit more attractive to me, um, but I think I still like the points of Uke. I, I agree. I think you take the points here. Um, 34, hard to pass up, especially as Prince seems to be pulling further and further away with each turn. Yeah. Prince has had a rather poor pull into his S, A, B, N, N, R, S, T, now the rack. So five consonants and one vowel on the pull. Can't be excited about that. Rather than Kiev, we're going to see her retain the E here and play Kiva. 24 points instead of the 34 Kiev, E, G, S, U, the leave. And we will see if that yields a bingo for Vanita. Every time I say that, she seems to draw very poorly. So perhaps I should stop trying to wish a bingo onto her rack. Uh, draw terrible, Vanita. I hope these tiles are the worst. Maybe that works better. We'll find out. Prince, A, B, N, N, R, S, T. Uh, after this A has been strung out there for him, he must feel a little bit worried about it. Yeah. So uh, look at that scourge on her wreck. I did it. Yes. All right. Uh, well done. That was that was good. Very good. All right. So uh, what does Prince do? Does he open? Does he block? Looks wow. like setting down Bannet here, but uh, no, he doesn't have an E. And what is this going to be? I think he's just very, very concerned about that A. Whoa. I think that's very conservative. That's quite surprising. But, you know, um, everyone has a different style. 
I would have at least played the B there, NAB or BAN as opposed to ANN. Um, but perhaps Prince knows something I don't. C E G O R S U, the rack on Manita's rack. Scourge playing with Motis or its anagram Scrooge, S C R O U G E. Scrooger, Scourger, Scourged, and Scrooge also options to the R or D in Re Radiate. So I expect to see a bingo here. There's also a cool play through the A-N-N-C-R-A-N-N-O-G-E. Almost, but not quite a triple-triple. That'd be disgusting if it were true, though. I think, uh, I, uh, well, I hope she finds the bingos. Um, I, I don't know how Venifa studies. I mean, it, it, it's, it's one of those words where I think if you see this rack and you, you've studied a lot, it kind of spidey senses go off and you, you you start feeling that there's a bingo there so um, but again she's 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 obviously got them in alphabetical order which suggests that she she maybe uses studying software and it looks like she's seen it yeah she's seen it so scourge and now looking at this spot you got to decide a couple things does moti take an s and if it does what hooks does scourge take that's obviously going to set up big opportunities for scoring in the future I don't like setting those opportunities up if I don't know the hooks. Okay, so she's she's uh, playing it a little safe and going to the D. Yeah, uh, if you aren't certain of the S hook on Moti, or if you aren't certain of the hooks on Scourge here, I think this is an appropriate thing to do. You don't want to set up the volatility if you can avoid it. So Scourged, the play here, Benita holding that G and bingoing with it. Uh, as I feel I helped, as I wish that onto her rack. Draw more awful tiles, Vinita. I hope three U's, three W's out of the bag, even though that would be impossible. Let's see. And maybe I should be wishing some of the same for Prince, as he can't seem to get out of bad tiles. But Bariza, going to be a nice extension for him. Maybe this the reason. Oh, is that a word? I've never seen it. Oh, Vinita just gets up immediately. Um, okay, so... Prince uh, maybe got the stream jitters. Playing on stream is exceptionally difficult, but Prince losing his second turn of the game. Uh, I mean, there is an anagram of those letters. Oh, okay, okay. Zariba. So, Zariba, yeah. So it's possible that, that that's the kind of the confusion that has happened. So yeah. uh, I think maybe this the reason Prince opted to hold on to the NN. Is he looking it back? Yeah, um, we have a direct to call. We'll see if we can get some clarification from our team on the ground. Maybe Prince so certain this is good, he asked for a second opinion here. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know if I hear anything from the team on the ground about what this is. Um, yeah, this is rather spicy. I haven't seen something like this before. A challenge and a director call immediately? Prince hasn't drawn tiles. There can't be any dispute here. Uh, so uh, we're hearing he has called for a second opinion on this word, uh, perhaps not trusting the computer. I, I don't know how you handle a second opinion when a... It looked like Jason may have gone to get a third opinion. Or I think Jason went to go grab the actual lexicon okay. here. <laughs> I think the, the second opinion... Uh, Second opinion with an online lexicon is, I guess, get the book out and find it. So Vanita going to wait patiently as she knows she's made a, a correct decision here, challenging a word that looks utterly unfamiliar. Um, very interesting. You know, sometimes it's happened where there's been a game where a word has been played that was a phony, and you just remember that word from the game in a phony, and your brain tells you it's a, it's a word. Um, and, and maybe he's just... How could I've seen it in a game? How could it? How could it not be a word? But uh, I, I think it's more likely that um, he knows that that those letters contain a word, and he just jumbled them up. Of course, we are in the United States, so if you don't like the outcome of something, I guess you just ask people to recount it until it's recounted in your favor. I'm going to stop here before I get in any more trouble. Uh, no more down the line of thought there. But Vanita picking up another turn, two for two on challenges this game. And uh, now looking to expand on her lead, A-E-E-L-N-O-W for Vanita, who is ahead by 52 points already. And she'll get to decide how she wants to play out of this rack. If she's looking to shed vowels, the V in Kiva going to allow great opportunities for her to do so. E-A-V-E, -E, 
a good option for her. 31 points, L-N-O-W being the leave. Uh, nice six-letter play of L-E-A-S-O-W plays through the S in Scourged as well. Uh, that would be awesome for her. Or she could choose to put one more vowel down, L-E-A-S-O-W-E. Uh, the shorter one, 26. The seven-letter word, 28 points for her. Weeson, another option in that same spot. Or through the ANN, if she looks to knock that spot out of the game and not worry about more disconnected triple triples, a 1L, W-A-N-N-E-L plays there. James, do you have opinions about any of those plays? Well, I think the best play just kind of, you know, gut feeling is Liso, L-E-A-S-O-W. But I think if I'm Venetha with nearly only four minutes on my clock, I'm probably not looking at the S immediately as the place on the board to play. Um, I'm probably, my eyes probably get drawn more to the top right corner where that double word score is. And, you know, I, I might see Eve for a bunch of points and, and just play there, but may, maybe she can process all of this uh, a little bit quick, more quickly and, and see the play through the S, but um, we shall see. Vanita already down under five Especially minutes. Especially thinking her. about a long... Yeah, along. She's going to have to pick up the pace of play here. Uh, for those newer to Scrabble, going over your time does not uh, mean an instant loss as it does in chess. Instead, it means you will lose 10 minutes or 10 points for every minute or part of a minute that you go over on your clock. But she is going to have to hurry things along. And Prince, fast playing her very quickly. B U R R coming down. And I think that's probably the right thing for him to do, given he's lost a couple of turns and uh, he's, he's down a bingo. Um, that was a fine equity play. And, uh, you know, put Vanessa, uh, uh, Vanitha under time trouble. Yeah, so Vanitha, her clock running, she still doesn't have tiles. She's going to have to pick up the pace here. You can see her frantically drawing, but still drawing one tile at a time. Uh, E-E-W, the leave, and uh, E N O. And another O, the pull, so not what she was looking for. Another E, two O's, E-E-E-N-O-O-W, the rack. E-V-O-E is kind of where my mind goes right away through the V in Kiva. Tough to spot that. And maybe otherwise we see W-O-O-S-E. Oh, no, oh, no she's going to play across from the Z. Is she just playing Ope? Yeah, just trying to play. Just, just to, yeah, play fast, move on, hope to have an easier turn next turn. Great pull for Prince as he's pulled into Banters or Barnett's, also Urbanist or Unbrassed through or from the, the U in Scourged. Uh, I'm not familiar with Wespa rules. Is Prince required to write down her score before he makes his play? And has he been doing so? I haven't been watching, but I believe that is the rule. Okay. So Banters comes down rather quickly, 80 or 68 points. That's going to make the score... Uh, a lot closer. Oh, yikes. I misannotated this as a, I'm getting rushed as well by the players here. Uh, okay. O-P-E. And then Banter's coming down. So 221 for Prince, 229 for Vanita, who sits on D-E-E-N-O-O-W. And we still haven't seen any blanks in this game. Um, yes. I think with the time, I would just be playing a little under, you know, just play under Banter's, score some points, and try and just try and move on. Yeah, I would just play O W E or W O E and, and go quickly. And that, uh, where's she playing that? She's whoa, playing. what is this? Whoa, yeah, there you go. That's a much better spot. Okay, I'd even put the D on the end, but now, Prince has not recorded her score yet. I want to watch his hands. Is he going to write down the score or is he just going to make a play? I, I'm not, I don't know the rules. Somebody refresh me in chat, but I don't, I, I think you have to write the score beforehand. It was an, another 30 seconds there to consider the D on the end. That's it's a lot of time. He is writing actually, I think, Matt, I do think. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think it's yeah. out of shot and I, I, I saw his, hand moving there okay okay got apparently, so we got somebody in chat saying that there isn't a rule about that but i would need i would need to see some clarification about what the exact process is because there must be some process but uh, Vanita has been putting her tiles down and using it uh you know constructively trying to build to see what the best spot for her tiles are and i think prince just able to count quickly and write the letters down that's what's going on here uh, too much going on for me to keep track all at once. E-I-I-L-M-P-U now 
Sprint looks to respond from that play. Uh, will he play quickly or will he take some time? M-U-I-L and A-W-L looks like a fine play. Pumice plays through the C and Scourged as well. And just dropping the U, Z-O-U-K and U-H looks fine. But M-U-I-L, a nice way to score some points and puts Vanita back on the clock. Though she's found the first blank in this game. E-E-E, N-F-V blank. There is a playable bingo in this rack, but under time pressure uh, and with the, with the strange fit, will she find N-Fever and S-E-N? She yes, will. She, she will. will. This is a great play. Yeah. Great job, Vanita. The only bingo and just to find it in a few seconds, that's that's great. I think I actually think Prince's play was fine on the previous turn, but I would have taken a little longer. I don't think he needs to fast play her that quickly, but I think it was probably a fine play. Yeah, Vanita not faltering under the pressure uh, and fever coming down. Um, and she pulls ahead now 3-3-6 three, three, to 2-5-1. Prince pulling the cue, dropping it almost immediately, quip for 32. And Vanita, once again, her time is running before she's even pulled her tiles. Uh, this is going to get tense. She is certainly going to have a time penalty in this game, but how much and will it matter? Uh, second blank still to be drawn. Vanita with seven attempts to pull it. We're going to go ahead and display the unseen pool as soon as we've got Vanita's rack. Um, as uh, this is getting very interesting, folks. Uh, yeah. Two or yeah, one S unseen, one blank unseen. Quip takes a back U as well. So lots of opportunities to score. And Vanita tracking, tracking, writing down the score. Tick, tick, tick. I I'm feel like he's doing two minutes I'm a, here. I'm a, I'm a little bit stressed about the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've, I've experienced a time penalty once ever in about 2,000 games because I'm just a fast player. Those who've been watching know I play one-minute games. And Vanita, ever the sport passes the tile bag to her opponent, waits for him to grab it out of her hand. She is entirely unfazed. And this is not She's looking to win this game. This She's pulled the U for Kwifu. With, with the double, yes, ex yeah, exactly. But what can we play? I just play something simple under there. Cut or C-U-I-T, good options for her. Uh, but that WU, as James mentioned, a, just a magnet. They stick to each other. Oh, she's missed Kwipu instead dropping just UT in this situation out. So she is feeling this time pressure. And Prince now, E-G-I-L-T-T, -T, and an A on his rack. Again, he's trying to play as quickly as possible here. He will have a great play if he takes more time. Anil from the ANN, playing EAL behind it, a great way to score, but he just going to play AT and try to get that clock going as quick as possible. Vanita pulling the second blank. This is going to be huge for her, and she does have a crazy bingo through the C in Scourged, T-W-O-C-C-I-N-G. Will she see it under the time pressure? My brain jumps straight to twice to the E and in fever and wait until next turn. But wow. That's, I wouldn't spot that word. Um, and I think we should tell everyone, Matt, that, that you lose 10 points for every minute that you go over. Um, so Vanita already down 10 points as yeah. she's overtime already. Um, and she has played, where, I missed her play. Where did she go? Played wet, W-E-T. Oh, wow. Okay, so just dropping the W. Okay, she is starting to crumble under this pressure as uh, Legit comes down almost immediately once again for Prince. C-G-H-I-N-T blank the rack now for Vanita. She is ahead 356 to 329. I think, she I, sees see it. I think she sees it. Sorry, Matt. I, yeah, there's a oh, thing. Oh, no. Go ahead. She's found Chuting, C-H-U-T-I-N-G. Will she see the spot? T-O-C-E-D-H, the only spot for her to play this bingo. Well, let's see. Yeah. Um, I thought she'd seen the bingo in the spot, but let's see if she gets it. I think she's doing the right thing just to spend a few seconds here. Vanita now a minute plus over. She will be facing a 20 point penalty. We're not assessing the score right now on our score bug. So effectively the score 336 to 329, although we're displaying 356 to 329. Ah. Uh. Uh, that is a tough spot. You don't look to backhook the ED uh, with that yeah. H. This is intense. Oh, oh, here it. she goes. She has found it shooting 86 points. And perhaps even with the time penalty, this is going to be all she needs. Very nicely done by Vanita. 86 points for the bingo. 
442 to 329 the score now before the time penalty is assessed. This is so fun to watch, but got to be so stressful over the board. I had to commentate on that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we were doing our best to kill time uh, earlier in this game, and now no time to kill at all. Vanita will find the J, the last four tiles in the bag, A-D-O-J, but she doesn't seem to be stuck with it at all. She'll have numerous options to get rid of this. And despite the time rush, a uh, great attempt by Prince, but Vanita finding both blanks, bingoing with both of them, despite the 20 or more points of overtime fin uh, penalty, is going to win this. So score one for the Malaysian. I tell you what, Matt, Vanitha gives us great drama on screen. The, the yeah, absolutely. Both of her games, probably two of the three most exciting games so far in this tournament. Maybe yeah. we got to get, get her back up here for more. <laughs> yeah. Well, if she keeps winning, then uh, she's going to be right in the mix of this tournament. Yeah, 14 and 7 going to put her right in the thick of things. That's going to be fun. Uh, this tournament very tight right now as uh, 18th through 39th plates coming into this round were all 12 and 8. Vanita does not want to lose and fall into that pa uh, pack, and she will not, assuming she's able to hold on here. Prince, uh, knowing the bag is empty, got to try to find a bingo or something, perhaps going to take his time, maybe catch his breath after some intense action. He has over 16 minutes on his clock um, and beneath the overtime already. I mean, she has a nice J spot up by B.O. for J.O. Um, I mean, there's, there's no way back here for, for Prince in this game. Um, I, I don't even know what he had after he played legit. Uh, I believe he held IT. Oh, okay. So that's pretty much, the, yeah, that seems a very reasonable play. Um, Oof, okay. I get to catch my breath now. Jeez. Yeah, I think the, the missing the U hook of quit. Um, I mean, obviously, at that point, I think that was exactly when her clock was ticking below, below zero. Um, I, I think that could have, met, you know, calmed the nerves a little bit more to have found a play under there. Um, but Prince did a great job of. <laughs> But, but she found then fever and shooting the two the, the, each time with the blank, and it takes a long time for mere mortals such as me to permute my way through blank bingos, and she found them immediately. I'm trying to figure out what T W O C C I N G is. I don't have uh, definitions loaded in my Collins lexicon, but um, there is no T W O C or anything that looks close to it. What is that word? Um, by the way, Matt, so the, the, it, it seems an age ago now, but I think I think it was Stuart in chat uh, put, put, quoted the rule for, for for after each turn that you must write down the play. I'm um, sorry, the cumulative score, and I believe the play. Um, yes. So it is a, it is a, a Wesper tournament rule. Good to know. Though Prince was following the rules, I just didn't notice it as I was caught up in a lot of fast play. Yeah. Um. We did miss the twalking bingo. Uh, that would have been a lot of fun. I, I, I think I saw in chat somebody saying it was a British word or something to do, but I've never. The never. offense of taking a car without the owner's consent. Have you ever uh, committed a twalking, James, when you were a... Uh, uh, no, I've never twalked. You've never twalked? Have you no. ever twerked? Uh, uh, also negative. Um, <laughs> no, not, 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 neither of those things are in my wheelhouse. No, not with that attitude, no, but growth mindset, always popular. None of those are in my wheelhouse yet. Which one would you do first, given the choice? Would you commit to I don't, I don't, I don't want to break the law. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you alone. I just got to razz you, James, while I've got you. Um, yeah, I think oh, Prince okay. T-W-O-C, taking without owner's consent. So slang and then becoming a verb. Twalk has not made it into the lexicon, but twalking has. Oh, interesting. I think Prince is just, you know, he's looking for his play here, but he's also kind of just mentally thinking what could have been in this game. I think we've all been there when we get to the end of a game and... Um, you know, feel a little bit, how did that happen? 
Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely got to take some time, recenter, and uh, you know, do that either over the board or walk away from it and do it in the hallway. I'd prefer to do the latter, but perhaps you know, with a room full of countrymen all looking for updates, likely some of them watching this stream outside. Uh, maybe you don't want to get razzed. Maybe you're dwelling on the two turns you lost on Phonies, Diphases, and Bariza. Maybe still lamenting, why does that look so familiar? Yeah. Even with the second opinion it came off, what is happening? Uh, lots to think about, lots to ponder on this game uh, for Prince. And notable that Vanifa is she's uh, turned her tiles upside down, so she doesn't even need to turn the board. Because she's got, what, 12 seconds before she loses another 10 points, so... Um, getting ready to do the quick, the quick play. And when you're down below that, well, I, think, I think the rule is actually when there's no tiles left in the bag, you don't need to write down the, the cumulative score. Yeah, that, that is correct according to at least North American rules. Though again, I'm unfamiliar, the, the rules vary just so slightly between uh, North American rules and world or international rules uh, governed by WESPA. Yeah, I think it's the same. I think that's what, what I saw in chat uh, earlier. Um, I guess we haven't really given any candidate plays here, but there's, there's, I think there's just a lot of things that scored 20 points, like SAFE, S-E-I-F, um, FICOS, F-I-C-O-E-S. Um, yeah, you'd like to go out into uh, some ways to do that. Best in game, according to the engine, is I-S-S-E-I -S -S -E through the S in Scourged, okay. uh, followed by T-O-I-S-E at the bottom of the board, forming Quippo, Q-U-I-P-O. Um, both of those holding either F O E or F uh, F E F O or E F I, allowing FO or FI to go out. S I uh, I S S E I is one of those words that you study and think, why would I ever need to play that word two S's? But I've actually played it a couple of times in in, in tournaments, and it, it it has come up. So, uh, but probably not a word not a word he's looking to play first off. No, no, it seems strange that that would be your optimal endgame, and yet it sets you up nicely as it allows you to come back with FOE alongside it for a boatload of points. But I agree, that looks like a word you'll never play, and yet in these endgame situations, yeah. we saw uh, during the uh, Scrabble Players Championship, or SPC, Josh Sokol dropping S-A-N-I-E-S, a random mm. six that does not come from a four or a five with two S's, and it was the optimal endgame sequence. So weird stuff happens in endgames, but you're right, a word not likely to come up all too often. There were some interesting moves in the early part of this game, uh, you know, uh, Vanifa playing Yex rather than going for something like Oxi, um, some longer plays. Um, I think Prince did... did did very well to spot the front hook to irradiate, um, even though there's perhaps other plays he, he could have maybe left that open another turn. Uh, I thought Kiva was very interesting. She was under time trouble uh, rather than playing Kiev. Um, I, th that was an interesting, and, and I think ANN just seems very defensive. Um, I, you know, I think we could question the ANN play. Yeah, definitely A and N looked strange. Although if you think holding on to the B, I'll get to play Bariza next turn and tighten this board, it makes sense where he was coming from. Although yeah. that uh, a flawed decision. Uh, key result just coming in. Thatcha with a victory over Will Anderson. Will dropping to sixteen and five will catapult Thatcha into second place in this tournament. He played great in the in in the game before. Um... The, the break, so uh, one to look out for in the next few games. And another key matchup, uh, Wellington, his results still pending, though Wellington with his large spread likely to stay ahead of Thatcha, independent of a win or loss. But next round, Thatcha versus Wellington on board one is what we promised to bring you. And Thatcha versus Wellington on board one is what you're going to get first place versus second place. Are you not entertained? This one was great to watch, but uh, man, oh, she got was, exactly to zero zero. Uh, down to what two zero zero exactly? Yeah. So that is only two minutes over time, twenty points. It's minute or fraction of a minute, so two minutes and one second would be minus thirty, but just two minutes is just minus twenty for Vanita. So that's how we're going to end this one here. What an exciting game! I got to catch my breath. Yeah, we've got three more games, Matt. <laughs> Goodness.
<laughs> James, James, you got to take a break too. Yeah, that, that was a fun one. I'm really glad we, we got to see this game. Uh, you know, the, uh, I think this game illustrates the pressure that playing a game of Scrabble can put you under. I mean, you know, m many, not, not all of us, but several of us can find good plays in a vacuum just, you know, when there's no pressure on. But when you're under that microscope with the clock ticking down to find those words is, is, is very tricky. Let's cut to overhead, Mike, see if we get any chat from these players and what was an exciting game. Mm -hmm. Nine This is 10, right? Okay. That's 18, right? It's 29. Oh, is it 29? Oh, it's 29. Okay. All right, this one. Okay, hang on. 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 11, 22, 23, 24, 25, 29. Okay. So, 239 is 29. This 368. Yes, 368. Okay, so three six eight. All right. So mine is um sixty three. Okay. Plus twenty four is eighty seven. Plus seven. Twenty six. You have twenty six. Mm -hmm. Okiba. Six ten eleven twelve twenty four. Six ten twelve is twenty four. So eight seven plus um seventy four for scourge four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twenty four seventy four so it's one six one and um along is two three four five six seven twenty one is one eight two uh oak is twenty one ten eleven twenty one is <laughs> Two or three. Uh, wood is thirty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Is two, three, three. Uh, two, three, three. What do you have next? Wood. 
this uh, not very exciting between the players right now, as this just seems to be a recount. Uh, again, both players trying to play as quickly as possible. Lost track of what seems to be a lot of the scores in this one. We are unable to provide them assistance per tournament rules. They've got to figure out these scores on their own. But with this victory, uh, Vanita propels herself into the top 10 of the standings, making Malaysia proud. Uh, Wellington, from what I've read, also with a victory this game, he's jumped to 18 and 3. But Wellington in first at 18 3, Thatcha in second at 17 and 4. This will be a huge game. Wellington with a victory will put himself two games and spread ahead of the rest of the field. Dacha with a win will bring Wellington back to the same record as him and make things very interesting. Uh, for those of us in chat asking to cut to the Wellington game, we would love to, but it will be played on this exact same board with these exact same tiles. We are unable to do that. They can't play on a board that is still being used. So we're going to have to sit here for a moment as the players finish the recount. You are not missing any Wellington action. Fear not. We will make sure you get all of that game. There's been some other mo notable moves as well. Uh, Matt Harshan has uh, just won, so he's up into fourth place on 15 wins. Um, uh, and Dave Wiegand and Austin Shin have both won, and so are in the top 10 right now. Dave so, Wiegand uh, had an abysmal start to this tournament. I even asked if he was playing because I never saw him, but now in eighth place. Yeah, so we'll see. I think, uh, you know, Wellington, if he get pulls away, then it could be a, a fight for second place. But, this, you know, it's still very tight at the top with Will only two wins back as well. As a reminder, the top two players will be taken after the after the 32 games of the main event, and they will play a best of seven finals. It does not matter if you are eight games ahead of the field or eight spread points ahead of the field. Uh, the top two will be taken. So Wellington would love to give himself some breathing room, uh, perhaps Gibsonize himself. Uh, and get some peace of mind going into that last day. But uh, the top two will make it on. I believe the advantage to finishing first over second, if the SPC was any indicator, is that uh, the player who finishes first in the standings will get to go first in rounds one and three and five and seven if needed. Let's cut to that mic now, see if we get banter this time. It's such a crazy game. I made too many players. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I'm just totally out of it. Yeah. No, no, if you've seen my rap, I was just uh, completely out of it. Uh, I mean, I just got lucky with the blanks, but the two blanks. So I just got lucky here. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> What mess. So both both of us. It would be interesting to watch the uh, stream. All right. Yeah, so we have some time. Oh, can I, can I take a picture of this? Uh, yeah, I would. <laughs> So not much of a post-mortem, but Vanitha taking a picture to commemorate this, a wild game on board one from the World Scrabble Championship. And Vanitha moves to 2-0 and o on board one on stream with two of the most fun games we've seen so far. Two big challenges as well over Prince from Nigeria to help her hang on to that one. We are going to cut to a short break for me to get more water because uh, my voice is going to need it. Uh, but we will be back very shortly with a first place versus second place matchup. Wellington of Nigeria, Dacha of Thailand. Don't go anywhere, folks. That's going to be a great one. We'll be right back. <laughs> 